let's have some fun with music. Now, um, I was uh, working out the chords in C, the key of C, to a um, piece that's uh, normally, that was written in D, the um, um, canon in D by uh, Johann Pachelbel. Um, I used to think Pachelbel canon was like Brandenburg Concerto. It referred to the place where it was composed, and I thought it was composed by Bach. That's totally wrong. It was composed by Johann Bachelbel. Now, um, I, I uh, conceived of it, and I worked it out on the keyboard, but it was in the key of C, not D. And um, I realized that it was made entirely of those kinds of uh, major and minor triads that I've been fiddling with that um, I talked about elsewhere on social media. And so I decided to have some fun, and instead of uh, uh, the Paco Bell canon, you're going to have a non-canonical Paco Bell uh, made by changing only a single note uh, within the triad to the other value that it can have and still maintain itself as a major or minor triad. If it's major, it'll become minor. If it's minor, it'll become major. But um, I wanted to see just the effect that it had because we, um, we very much recognize a rhyme or reason that goes without, you know, verbal rhyme or reason that doesn't follow maybe uh, rules of logic at all with how music goes and the Paco Bell Canon, the chords of the Paco Bell Canon are just such a uh, logical seeming almost sequence of chords. It just, it just flows very naturally. Uh, to my mind, it almost appears like there's nothing going on here. There's, it's just flowing so naturally from one chord to the next. There's no information being carried in this music, so to speak. So anyway, um, here's the um, here's the eight, eight chords of, of associated with the canon that I wanted it to fool with. And they play around. They just play along very naturally. And there you go. Just to show you how well, uh, how good a job your mind probably does if you, uh, you know, uh, Western uh, culture raised like me, American culture, um, how, how well your brain fills in the missing notes when I leave one out. Because these notes, they just seem so sensible to us, the way the chords unfold, the way the melody and the harmonies unfold, you fill in what's not there. So if I just played the top two notes of the triad, you'd be able to um, you'd be able to imagine the third one just fine. It's like it's almost not missing. And then uh, if I played. Um, the um, the top and the bottom note with the middle note missing, uh, same thing. And now, if I uh, did the unspeakable and left off the uh, melodic note at the top, the, the you know the soprano note say, um, you'd still fill it in, you'd still know it was there, and, and the, um, the Paco Bell Cannon would go along just as it should. See, nothing, nothing uh, has gone wrong, and you can easily fill in the notes that should be there. But, because I left out a note, and because given the two notes that were left, you can construct 
two entirely different triads, one major, one minor, if I fill it in with the wrong note, any of those instances, uh, not the wrong note, the other note, uh, you'll get something that sounds mostly like Paco Bell, but not quite, and the harmon harm harmonization doesn't quite work. It doesn't quite make as much musical sense, but it's there in just beautiful triads going from one to another, and in my mind, I find it a little more interesting. So um, let's listen to what happens. First, you're going to hear the... Uh, the chords of the canon, from, you know, transposed from D to C like I did. You're going to hear the chords of the canon originally. Then you're going to um, hear them with the top, no, not the top note, with the, um, with the bottom note moved. Then you'll hear them with the middle note moved. And then, oh my gosh, you're going to hear them with the top melodic note moved and it'll be going up sometimes where it was normally going down, but just in order to make the triad the only other triad you can make. So listen to this. I think you'll find it interesting. Paco Bell, non-canon. you found that as interesting to listen to as I did uh, making it, or at least, you know, hope you found it somewhat interesting. And one of the things I thought about was um, using the eight chords of the Paco Bell canon um, to carry a message written in ternary digits, 0, 1, and 2. You can translate any message into ternary digits, 0, 1, 2. And what I would do uh, was with each instance of the chords going along, the eight chords looping, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, what I would do was, depending on the message digit that I wanted to encode in this, um, in, in the, the Paco Bell canon, would be to change either the bottom for zero the middle for one, or the top note of the triad for two, um, and do this until I, I played um, enough rounds of the uh, eight chord progression that uh, I would have sent my message. Um, and that's what just uh, interested me about doing this little exercise. It would definitely be a weird sounding Paco Bell canon. It would be non-canon. So anyway, this has been saying goodbye.